Hi again, folks. Um, I found myself up in Belfast the other day and thought I would make a quick trip to Mount Eden Park. Uh, that is the location of uh, the Northern Ireland Regional War Room. Uh, it opened in 1953 and uh, essentially it was to run the country after a nuclear war. Uh, in 1963, it uh, became the Civil Defence Headquarters uh, with uh, six subcontrols reporting to it. Uh, now, unfortunately, there's only one of those subcontrols left, and that's at uh, the Stormont uh, Parliament Buildings in Belfast. Uh, in 1980, it became the RGHQ again, and it stayed that way right up until 1990 when it was replaced by the bunker in Ballymena. Um, here's a couple of aerial photographs of it. You can see it's in a, a quite... Uh, plush part of Belfast with uh, houses are, are reasonably expensive around there. The building's in really, really good condition and uh, I was quite lucky to get a visit uh, back in 2015. Um, I've been at it a couple of times actually, but uh, 2015 was my first visit and the building is still in excellent condition inside and it still retains all its original uh, plant material, its original generator, and you know it, the building could be, you know, could still be used as a bunker, but it's uh, been most recently used as a secure document store. So all the rooms are are stacked floor to ceiling with shelves just full of paperwork. Uh, so I have a little bit of um, archive footage to show you here soon. But here's a here's a floor plan and. Uh, you can zoom in on that, pause it, and zoom in on that to your heart's content. Now, all the walls, everything's still standing exactly as it would have been inside, but uh, they've they've removed all the equipment and, and things like that there from inside. Uh, but as I said, yes, I've got some archive footage coming up here, and this is the only archive footage that I know that exists of a regional war room anywhere in the UK. So uh, sit back and enjoy. The peaceful, leafy suburb of South Belfast. Mount Eden Park, Malone. Behind the high wire and the locked gates of number 46, a squat concrete building described in the Belfast Street Directory as Civil Defence Main Control. Inside, senior members of the government's emergency planning branch have engineered a catastrophe. A Boeing 747 has crashed in a heavily populated part of North Belfast and close by a derailed tanker train is spewing out lethal clouds of chlorine gas. For almost 50 bemused local government officers it's a day out. It's an exercise in problem solving and it's the first step towards preparing the Northern Ireland community for the consequences of a nuclear attack. In Northern Ireland the debate on civil defence has barely begun. In Britain, after four years, it's by no means over. 118 councils and all the metropolitan areas, including the Greater London Council, have declared themselves nuclear-free zones. And that means that almost half the geographical area of England and Wales is against nuclear defence in principle. Already, the councils in Fermanagh, Down and Londonderry have taken a similar stand. At the end of last month, the Home Secretary, Leon Britton, threatened to use the law against Britain's dissenting councils. If necessary, the Northern Ireland office will do the same. 